NFL superstar Tom Brady has announced his retirement after 23 years. This time he says it's for good. He's really retiring. Now, he is the most successful quarterback in NFL history, one of the greatest to ever play the game. Brady won a record seven Super Bowls for New England and for Tampa Bay. As you'll remember, though, he briefly retired after the 2021 season, but then wound up coming back for one more year. Here's a question for you. Will you know when it's really time for you to retire? WAT's Kristen Gallant spoke with an expert about steps that we all can be taking now to prepare for our future retirement. She joins us now live in studio with that. Kristen. Don, Tom Brady is retiring again, this time at 45 years old, two decades younger than the average Tennessee retiree. But there are several steps you can take to get on the right track to retirement. I really enjoy helping people find that peace because a lot of people are approaching retirement with a lot of fear. Alan Kirby is a certified tax specialist and certified estate and trust specialist with Ridgebrook Tax and Retirement Planning. They have offices in Nashville, Cookville, and here in Knoxville. Average in Tennessee is 64. And unfortunately, the average retirement income in Tennessee is about 55,000. That puts us in the bottom 10 in the nation amongst other states. He says it's hard to compare an NFL superstar's retirement to your average Tennessean, but there are some similarities on how you can start planning for the future. The key is what Tom Brady has in common with all the people around us and the people listening to this would be that what he wants in his retirement plan is choice. Because regardless of what those choices are, if you've built a good plan that provides you lots of options, lots of choices, that's a successful plan. When should someone start planning for retirement? I'd say about 12. <laughs> no, um, really as soon as possible. Kirby says there isn't one set retirement plan that everyone should follow. However, the earlier you start, the smaller that percentage of savings can be. You know, the ideal age would be as soon as you start working. And that's why employer plans, that's why that's being promoted very heavily right now. Even some of the new laws that have just passed, their purpose is to promote people to enroll in 401k plans and various other employer plans. He adds that the higher your income level is, the higher you're probably spending. And the smaller amount, Social Security is going to help you maintain the lifestyle you want even after retirement. If you think about it right now, if you work a Monday through Friday job, what day of the week do you likely spend the most money? Probably Saturday. Well, what happens when you have seven Saturdays? You spend more money. Kirby says start saving now, even if it's a small amount, and pick a plan that's right for you and your future. The number one key is you put together the plan, you envision what that retirement's going to look like, put together a cash flow plan, because that's how we experience retirement when you think about it. Again, Kirby says one plan does not necessarily fit all. However, categorically, 401ks and Roth plans are very helpful when it comes to retirement. Don. Kristen, thank you very much. Kirby also reminds his clients to pay attention to tax rates. Make sure you're planning for tax increases when you're planning your retirement budget.